Bridgerton 4 now has some interesting updates as there are many preparations to make it happen as soon as possible and everything we know about the season will get you seated in anticipation for more of the Regency drama. With the way Bridgerton has chosen not to follow the book pattern for the TV series, they've now left fans to keep guessing who would be the next sibling after every new release. Season 3 wasn't meant to be for Colin and Penelope, but their story came forward. Also, according to the showrunner Jess Brownell, there are many clues in Bridgerton 3 explaining whose love story will happen next, but viewers don't know that even season 2 predicted it, and it's possibly the sibling you've been hoping for. During the Paul Mall game in season 2, Colin played into Wicket 3 and ended up having his story told in season 3. However, the second son, Benedict, played right into Wicket 4, and yes, season 4 might be about the goofy Bridgerton sibling. Before season 3 was announced, many fans expected it would be for Benedict based on the book's arrangements. But since the production skipped over it, it will only be sensible to make it happen for the fourth season. Also, one of Bridgerton's promotional videos for season 3 has hinted that Benedict might join the marriage mart in season 3. As a second son, he seeks purpose and wants a woman who will fit perfectly into his world. Luke Thompson, who plays the role of Benedict, once mentioned that Benedict is lost as he's uncertain about who he is, and that also explains how he tries to find justification in everything he does from the immoral relationship he keeps to his art talent. Season 2 also teased why Benedict might be seeking marriage to fit in, for once in Season 2, Benedict was happy his talent made way for him after getting into a competitive art academy, but all hopes became dashed after he learned Anthony influenced his admission, and that was sad since Benedict has seemed lost since Season 1 trying to find himself. With his art talent not nearly enough to get him into his desired academy, Benedict needs a higher purpose to make a more defined meaning of his life. And that also means he needs a woman to love and find himself in. So viewers should watch out for Benedict in season 3 and that means the fans will see more of Benedict as he prepares to take a wife. Even crazier is that viewers might be getting introduced to Benedict's future match in season 3, unlike in season 2 where it was the first time viewers met Kate. So if season 4 is about Benedict, his love interest from the book Sophie Beckett is much closer to revealing herself, but there are hints that Benedict will be trying to find the love of his life in season 3 and he will surely meet amazing women who fit the bill. It's no longer news that Benedict is a womanizer and in one of the promos released, the character could be seen getting to know a blonde woman while playing cards. Fans are already speculating that the woman Lady Tilly Arnold, a newcomer in Bridgerton, might be Benedict's last mistress before he finds the person for him. When the new character was first introduced, she was described as a firebrand widow with lots of freedom to explore in society. So she has the money and spiciness to determine how she gets satisfied with her male lovers in a casual relationship. Then pictures of them together have also revealed that Benedict might get into a steamy situation with Lady Tilly in season 3. Funnily enough, this perfectly sets up Benedict for season 4. Firstly, with his being so sad to have Anthony interfere in his career, he would fall into the hands of the next woman he finds attractive based on his nature. Also, like Madame Delacroix, Lady Tilly seems like the woman he would typically go for. However, there's a similarity to how Anthony found himself too. In the first season, Anthony had a secret lover, Sienna, whom he knew not to marry based on his reputation. He had to break up with her to find his own person in season 2, Kate. So, the show might also set Benedict up for a romantic affair with Lady Tilly, but since she's also not a proper bride for Benedict, the relationship will prepare him for his season where he meets Sophie. Benedict's season 4 story will follow the book and offer from a gentleman, which is very different from the dynamic seen so far with the Bridgerton siblings. According to Jess, not much would be changed from how the story happened in the books and how it will be adapted to the screen. She said, I am really not trying to shake things up too much. I believe in the vision of the show. Although there will still be some slight changes between the show and the books, they will both feel like their own different thing, especially for viewers who have read the books. So in that case, Benedict's story would follow a familiar plot, the Disney Cinderella story. It will feature a new character, Sophie, the daughter of an earl born outside of wedlock. Then she will later become an item of mockery and servitude with 
her stepmother and sister as soon as her father passes away. As the story goes, she would sneak out to attend a ball where she will eventually meet Benedict and fall in love as they dance together and make their Cinderella history. Sadly enough, because she wasn't even allowed to be at the ball in the first place, she must run back home quickly, leaving Benedict stranded with not much information to hold on to. So that one night would be the start of the crazy love affair between them, which would turn into numerous dramas, heart racing speeches, and amazing encounters afterward. However, the funny thing is that some fans think they already found the evil sister and stepmother for Sophie. Now, you should know that the show would change some things to not make the story exactly like the common concept viewers have seen. So fans are already speculating that one of the show's villains, Cressida Cowper, and her mother, Lady Cowper, would be the evil step family of Sophie. And that would be how Sophie would gain entrance into the society to meet with Benedict. Although the Cowpers already have their own story, there could be a twist to make it all come together. In season two, Kate and Edwina didn't just come as a new family, as they were able to enter into the society through Lady Danbury because she goes way back with their mother, Mary. So Sophie could also come from an existing family and the Cowpers fit perfectly. Another interesting detail about every new season of Bridgerton is that the main characters always have a glow up. However, it's a wonder what kind of glow up or changes would make Benedict more handsome than he already is. Benedict has a little sideburn and more could be added or they could have it removed depending on what would make him finer. But then Benedict might not need a glow up in season four because he has always been glowing. However, being the main character could make him more appealing to the viewers as they finally watch him bring all the drama and unknown parts of him into play. However, many new cast members are expected to join season four and there are strong speculations that Sophie Beckett has been cast as many clues have been leading to the actress Masali Badouza. One of the clues teased a new lady in a season three scene who will be an important part of the story. Since Eloise will be getting a new maid in season three, most fans believe that's how Sophie will get introduced before meeting Benedict, as in the books. Masali also posted a picture of herself in a fancy dress in 2022 with a caption that says she's ready to play Cinderella, which is crazy because Sophie's story in Bridgerton is just like the fairy tale character. So it's believed that the actress was foreshadowing her Sophie Beckett role. Characters like Eloise and Francesca will be returning to continue their story in season four until it gets to their season, which means cast like Claudia Jesse and Hannah Dodd will be in season four as well. The remaining two siblings, Hyacinth and Gregory, will continue as minor characters until they grow older. Their mother, Violet, will still be in the picture and many important members of the society like Lady Danbury are also expected to feature. While all these characters are bound to return, some others, like Anthony and Kate, aren't certain. Although this season two couple is coming to season three to keep their marriage fire burning, the cast, Jonathan Bailey and Simone Ashley, might not be available to appear in season four. Also, the couple for season three, Colin and Penelope, already have a passion for traveling, which could take them far away from the ton in season four, so Luke Newton and Nicola Coughlin's return remains to be seen. Interestingly, Bridgerton is a show that encourages the previous season's couple to keep showing up and be like an advisor to the young and upcoming ones. Unfortunately, the couple who opened the show, Simon and Daphne, won't be a part of season four just like they weren't in season three as the cast, Regé Jean Page and Phoebe Dynavor won't renew their contract. Also, Queen Charlotte might not be able to return in season four due to a reason that the fans have been suspecting will happen in season three, which will be revealed later, to avoid spoiling the show. But then most of the supporting characters will be returning. With all these exciting details about season four, the production has already started putting the story together even before the season three premiere. While teasing whose story is next, the showrunner Jess spoke of the progress regarding season four, saying, I can tell you that I know who it's going to be. We are in the middle of writing it right now. So that means the script writing for season four already started started in April 2024. Another big exciting news following that is that Bridgerton 4 will begin filming in June, shortly after the release of season three. Although it remains to be seen when the season will be released with a faster filming schedule and no strikes, the season could drop earlier than expected as fans can't wait to experience another Bridgerton love story again.